Nicola Capricorns. It's time for your mid-July to August reading of this current year. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Don't go in on me. Don't try to drag me. Because I will make sure I am better at, you, at it than you are. Just saying. We try to be nice in these camps. Well, as nice as we can be. Anyway, let's see what's going on with you, Caps. Yours has been an exciting few reads, I have to say. Very, very interesting. We got... Ooh, you might be rolling back to make an offer somewhere. Um, to something that didn't start. Uh, some cycle ended all fucky with you in your brain. And, okay. So if you go back, there's no new offer. And if you go forward with this wonky ending, like, there's no love to begin. <coughs> that is Saturn's card, so. What are you up to, Capricorn? Oh, you're trying to sneak off anyway to the fucking beginning. Okay, that's cool. There you are is the devil just creeping away. Trying to get some rest as you go in this direction. And, oh, the lovers. So it's like someone doesn't want to start something and somebody doesn't want to begin something. Nobody wants to take the action and no one wants to express themselves. What in the world is going on with you Capricorns now? Somebody might be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio? Or like, just somebody who's like, fatal attraction, Glenn Close, emotionally manipulative, probably crazy lady. Crazy tasty lady, right? Something up with her. Um, you might want to go back do the past, Capricorns, this is you, and and start fresh, new slate, the full card, right? It's an offer you got to make, right? Um, might be with a Libra, but there was some unfairness here, bad karma, might not be the right thing to, no, no, it's not the right thing to do, not at all, because it's like you're trying to join the two people who are too different, and that's not the right thing to do. They don't go back to the people. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Stop doing that shit. Every cat report I know does that shit. Even I do that shit. You leave that shit alone. Um, it's gonna leave you feel left out in the cold and feeling all pathetic when, like, you try to fix things with people. And then eventually they're gonna want to come back after it's just like, nah, you're not even a choice. Because that's usually how it goes. But it's like... It's like you guys have the genuine offer, but it's like it just doesn't work out. Like, he would go back and start something new, but because, like, there was some bad karma here, he was like... Things just didn't come together. There was too much differences, right? So this Ace of Wands... Oh, shit. Something didn't start, so now something needs to be surrendered, or something needs to be let go of. It is time. Uh... Looking forward decisively at this lover's situation, right? Someone's got to let their guard down because they've been waiting for something. And they also need to make a decision about what it is they actually know. I don't know what they know, but they know. It could be Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius once again. <coughs> Might be looking over trying to be decisive with this lover situation. Aw, look at that. Somebody loves you. It's kind of like Jeremy. Mm. Delicious sex. Hmm. I don't know if you're deciding to look for something new to complete you or just like, you know. You understand that you're releasing and cutting away this two of cups scenario. Could be either or. Or a Libra is doing that maybe. We got the world right here reversed. Things ended wonky because there was just shitty offers. 
shitty offer given to the devil. The devil might have gone for it, but I don't... I, I like, that might have been it, but I don't know. The devil is going in that direction, Capricorns. Um, someone might have started some shit. Someone might have had a lot of impulsivity. Someone might have had some impulsivity. It's like, okay, Capricorns, if this is you trying to get away from this shit, someone's coming with a big-ass pinnacle to be like, hey, don't go to that door. Look at how big this is. Cash money. You can get at least six one-ups on this one, but you're look going more to the door. Then this person starts cursing you out a little bit, and then they turn their back to you, because, like, they're just like, well, fine, I'll just go give this awesome fucking pinnacle to somebody else. Like, they impulsively get hot with you, and then they just turn cold and go do something else to forget about you, while you're just sitting there like, alright, I was gonna go to the door, but why were, did you offer me something anyway? Like, why would you offer me that shit to begin with? So then we have this Ace of Cups down here. I haven't been flipping the Aces as of late, so fuck it, I'm not- I'm just not going to. I'll just flip them if I feel like they need to be flipped, but it's like, hmm. With this lack of a cup, maybe no apologies or no love starting, like, there are options before somebody where they can manifest whatever the fuck they want. I feel like because this person was so pissed off at the shitty offer not being taken and you trying to get away caps, that, like, they gave you no cup of love. They just left all Broomhildenen and shit. So now it's like you have all these options for all these other cups, and you can manifest. Hmm. But you need to take a fucking break. Sit the fuck down. <laughs> Like, it's like you're not taking the time to rest in order to do all of this manifestation stuff. Which I concur, I have been busy as fuck and I'm kind of tired of it. It's time for a fucking break. You know? The devil reverse. The devil's trying to get the fuck out of Dodge. Trying to get to that door before this person over here just spraying a fucking, like, trap card. But, Lord knows Capricorn had, a, like, a fucking doorway, so it was just kind of like, we just sat there, it was just like, well, where does the door go? What makes your offer better than what's behind this door? Who will have donuts? I really want a donut right now. Like, I'm super hungry. Holy shit. You know, that kind of shit. Like, we're trying to escape from that commitment that was nothing but fucking baggage. It was a wish come true, but it's fucking baggage. You know, like, trying to escape looking like a fraud is, is not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. This could be a counterpart, too, but it's like, um... Whoever, try, whoever snuck away with your bad shit, um, uh, it's, it's kind of like a fraud. Now I'm thinking about it. It's like... Capricorns, did you lose your power to someone momentarily? Like... They did sneaky shit and you just let them get away with it, so they looked like they were good just like you were, but in reality they were just like one of those people who aren't really. Is that why you're breaking up with somebody you thought was a wish come true? Because, you know... Mmm. Yeah, I led to a bunch of unfairness. Okay, it's like... Hmm. Okay, Capricorns, if you're not the devil, this person is. Like, I feel like if it was you, Capricorns, you're trying to get away from the bullshit this person put you through, because it was unfair, completely. Where if it's this person, they basically left a relationship based on what they thought they wanted, and are now in a scenario where things are actually worse, with somebody just as bad, if not worse, than they are. So, Capricorns, you are trying to rest now. Not say dick. You're just keeping your mouth shut. Like, nah, it, it's cool, man. I don't, I don't, like, I have nothing to say. I'm good. I'm good. You know? You're, you're going to ride off to your happiness. You're getting older, which means you're getting more immature and childish, which is fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be happy despite the fact that there's no closure for us. Okay. This parading off naked and on a fucking horse, like, I got streamers! You know? The lovers. Could be Gemini, right? 
Um, someone might feel like they betrayed themselves, but that's like a shitty mentality. Get out of that, you know? Um, you might feel like you're a bit overbearing, like you need to be isolated, but like... Yeah, it's like this person's asking for a lot, which they don't need to because they have their own. From this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands has a lot of power, but she's really immature because she's young. Like, her clothes don't fit her correctly like it does the Queen of Pentacles. And like her, Queen of Pentacles has her clothes tailored, and she cuts their heads off if they don't get one measurement correctly because she checks that shit. Well, this person over here is just like, I got my cat. I don't need you. I got flowers. I look happy. She looks forlorn. It's like... Whoever this was you were dealing with, they're too busy trying to look good to even worry about how they're hurting you. And that says a lot about a person. That they rather look better than you, than um, actually love you, then like you need to get the fuck away from the person. Yeah, this relationship was based on insecurities, man. You're, that's why you're not even like tripping about the lack of closure. Like, fuck it. This is all in the past. And you're going on to fight and get in, in, a, another day. You're going to be get on top of this shit. Try one more because I just... Okay. And you're going to get the wheel moving again. Just sit back, relax, let your guard down, and let the universe complete this cycle out. I think you're more worried about how it's going to end than it, it has ended. I think you're preoccupied with the world being reversed thinking like oh this is a lack of closure kind of thing things ended fucky you know i got pretzels over here and i'm eating them so you know like i think this is what you're worried about like i think that's what you were worried about capricorn because it seemed like somebody gave you an offer before everything ended the way that it did and i don't think everything's ended yet but The offer this person gave you was shitty. It was based on an impulse of impatience and inconsideration. Like, it's like... Mm, let's say... And someone got you something based on what they think you like, not based on what you actually like. And when they give you this gift, that's what it hits you that this person really doesn't give a shit about you. And I feel like that's what annoys you the most. Like, you called this person out on their bullshit. And that's when they got impulsive, and that's when they just turned their back. Like, you're trying to manifest shit. You just need a break from this motherfucker right here. What? That's your reading, Capricorns. So, thank you for watching my video. Like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course. I'm not doing personal readings till after the 10th, but when I am available, I will make sure you guys know it. I will talk to y'all later. Please be safe. Love faces. Bye-bye.